Low. Low, hello. Sorry, Sir David the Bard. I've got a bad voice today. I don't know why. It uh, reflects the rest of my body, too, I'm afraid. Never saw me in a suit. In a tie. French cuffs. Black studs. Gold watch. Black stud tight in. Gold pen. Bling, bling, bling. Now, let me, let me tell you. Attorney, suspenders. I don't have my shoes on, so I'm not going to show you my shoes. Anyway, I'm coming to you from the local box store. And I'm going to report to you what it's like to be in Mormonville in a box store. If you can get by the uh, carrier for food that all the Mormons put their kids in, son of a bitch looks like a Filipino bus. 92 kids stacked up. Pouches, chairs, teddy bears, bottles. <laughs> How do you get two car seats in a, uh, in, a, in a basket for groceries? You can't. Put it on your knee. <laughs> One little baby's underneath there. You know it's a Mormon family. Anyway, I go into this box store all the time, and people hate me. They go, you're just an old man, fat. I'm not even going to look at you. You're dog crap. You put on a suit. In Utah, you're God. You're God. You're above Joseph and Brigham. Every woman that I passed in that big box store smiled at me. I said, good morning, good morning, how are you? I said, what the hell, why are you saying that to me? Good morning, good morning, how are you? All of them. Never before has any of them said shit to me. Same person inside the suit. See? The Mormons are visual. Image. 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 So I went to my dentist. And he and I are kind of quasi friends. He's Mormon. I walked in. He said, holy shit, you look like a bishop. That I am. I'm a bishop from Australia, Kangaroo City, and I'm just here in your city to uh, see how things are going. He says, You son of a bitch. You've gone undercover? Yeah, I have. The Mormons think I'm a Mormon. I'm going to church this Sunday. I'm going to church this Sunday with the Mormons. There's a mole. There's a mole but they won't know who it is. They can't find me. They can't find me. Now, based on that statement, let me tell you, the link down below is they can find me. You watch. You click on that link, and it's on Mormon stationery, approved by Jesus, of finding your ass. No matter where you are, what country, you could be in the damn space shuttle. They'll find out. Hulk? I don't think the Catholic Church does that. I don't think the Baptist Church. I don't think the Lutheran. I don't think the Seventh Day Adventists chase their people like that. Anyway, they want tithing. Maybe they can get some of those people back. I don't know. I do know this. They hold people on the membership records of the church till they're 135 years old. They won't admit they're dead because that lowers their numbers. Anyway, be that as it may. I've had regular problems over at the court clerk's office. You know I'm filing this uh, lawsuit and uh, it's against a, a collection agency, Recovery Services, and Edwin Perry, P-A-R-R-Y. I had to go over this morning and file 20 or 30 papers. When I've been over there before and I'm dressed like the bard, I'm dog shit. I'm dog shit. 
the guards follow me into filing because they think I may be violent. Took a barge suit in today. Those girls kneeled down and wanted to give me a blowjob. No, that's not necessary. I'm not Joseph Smith. I'm not looking for a wife. I just want to file these papers. Instantly filed. Instantly filed. Because I had on the Mormon uniform. Sad but true. Sad but true. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you, I, all the time, I try not to go out of the house. I just try not to go out into your world. How you guys stand it, I don't know. So I go over to the big box store, and uh, I say to them, we're going to buy a new shaver. Because the bard has to look good to be in court, so the Mormons won't know. So I have a shaver and a little box of insulin. Or I walk up to the counter, and I'm the next in line. The guy that's up there is as stupid, I hate to say it, as the Filipino clerk. I wait, I wait, I wait. Now the line is piling up. I can't stand there forever. So I said to the girl behind me, I'm going to sit over here, but I'm still in line. She says, I understand. I wait and I wait to check out two common items. Finally, you know the bard, after 10 or 15 minutes, my courteousness decreases. So I walk over to the counter and I yell, these people have a problem. I'm just trying to check out two things. Because someone will come over, right there, right there, Bard, right? I'll say, hey, go good. So this first guy comes over. I hand him my stuff. He screens it. Um, not lasers it, not screens it. He um, scans it, dementia. And he says, this is not working. I said, no, it's not. Those people over there have problems, and it looks like you have a problem. I'll get somebody. We want to get somebody who's capable. So he brings another bozo over, and the two bozos are looking for something on the package. They can't find it. The computer won't accept it. Ran my card in, and the computer's totally confused. And I looked at him and said, you know what? In a calm voice? You guys need my credit card, my discount card, and 20 bucks cash. Here it is. I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to try not to be angry. When you get it, you call me. You should have seen him trying to charge, or, or yeah, charge, two of those things. I sat for another 10 minutes. Finally, they call me and say, I think we got it. Said, okay. So, sorry about that. Like, it's okay. It's not. There's sometimes the fight, and then there's other times you just go, fuck it. Let it go. Let it go. So, I said, hey, it's not going to be a bar day. I don't want it to be a bar day. So, I leave. I leave. I go over to the bank supposed to be doing something for mercy so you know that drive up tube and the little plastic thing inside I take it out put the check inside go to put the tube in it will not go in the vacuum tube I'm saying to myself Bart Bart this is only two things it's only two things today in two hours Seems like it's one deal an hour. So, after three or four attempts, I just take the, the uh, plastic thing and slam it up on top of the, uh, the uh, drive-up thing. So finally it was my turn and the lady said, uh, can I help you? I said, yeah, you'll probably have to come out here and put this plastic thing in your tube because it won't fit. So, well, that's never happened before. I said, well, welcome to my life. 
I hear that almost every day. But let me rerun it. Do what you need to do. So she reruns it. Just try now. It goes in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, that makes it okay. My aggravation is supposed to subside with two words in this American culture. I'm sorry. Okay. So it can't go on. It can't go on. So, I go to get gas. Cheap. So I put it on, you know, fill her up. And hook, hook the nozzle. So it'll fill, and then when it's done, it'll spring and stop. I was in there two weeks ago, and I noticed that the nozzle doesn't have a spring in it. And when you, when you click it to stop it, it doesn't stop. I'm saying to myself, God, why am I alive? Why am I alive? So I push the call button. The guy comes out and he says, what's the problem? I said, the spring's gone. I was here two weeks ago and damaged my hand. And today, look, blood running down. Blood running down. He says, oh, it, it must be stuck. I says, yeah, it's stuck. Well, I'm sorry. Again, I got, I've got to subside my anger that that hadn't been fixed for two weeks. I got cut on it twice. First time, I'm trying to be nice. Maybe they'll fix it. Maybe somebody else will say something. Well, that's only three things. The day is only three hours old. Well, going over to Toyota. I noticed that when I put my window washers on, one washer's great, it's right in front of me, and the other washer looks like <laughs> an 80 year old masturbating. There's <laughs> a little bit up on the windshield. I was in there yesterday and they were supposed to fix it. So I go into today's and I say, can we help you? And I said, well, I hope so. I said, I told them yesterday to fix that washer well, the way it hits the windshield and they didn't do it. I said, well, who'd you talk to? I said, you know, I don't memorize service people that I talk to. Could I just have everybody in the room come over and stand in a circle? Maybe I can identify them. We'll take care of it. I hope so. So, I go in the waiting room. I do get a free Coke. Comes in, says it's fixed. Said, Good. So I'm walking out of the building. And I said, by the way, am I supposed to memorize your name in case it didn't get fixed again? He looks at me silently. I said, well, that's the thing you ask me every time I come in. Who did this to you? He says, well, my name is Tyson. I said, yeah, and I'm going to remember that. See you later. It's a barred day. It's a barred day. So anyway, I'm going to church Sunday undercover. I'm just going to tell them I'm a high priest in the high priest quorum over at uh, Kangaroo City. And uh, I'm just traveling through and uh, my name is Mr. Bard. Just going to sit there and see how they're going to be friendly to me because I have the uniform on. If I come in with tattoos and a ring in my nose, it says out front, Welcome. The cults only welcome people that are like them. Not all people. Blacks, gays, they don't welcome. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you. Look good in the suit. It's the way I used to dress my whole professional career. Porter Mercy saw me like this when we got married in the Philippines, and I've been a bum ever since. So anyway, um... Mercy said to me, well, when they see that gold watch and your gold rings and your gold pen and you're in for $236, what do you think they're going to say or think? I know how to handle it in Mormon, Utah. I don't have any money, but the bishop knew I needed a suit. D.I. bought it for me. I'm in now. I'm in with the Mormons. I'm in with the Mormons. So, anyway... 
health and enable, merit and abundance, strength and learning and saying, power and peace and be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. Second token, name of the second token of the Melchizedek priesthood, the patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail. New name, name you were given. First and second uh, tokens of the uh, of the Aaronic priesthood and the sun is the first token of the uh, Melchizedek priesthood at the veil. So, when I went, they wanted to cut my throat. And before 1990, they wanted to rip my heart out. They wanted to rip out my guts. They got a mole. They've got a barred mole coming to church. Now, I know I get about 1,300 hits a day, and most of those are from Utah. And all of you Mormons know me by name and by face. And you better warn your bishops and your state president, the bard is starting to be a mold. How are you going to kick him out? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm dressed appropriately. I'm not asking any questions yet. So, you Mormons, protect yourself. Here comes the bard. You remember Sammy Davis Jr.? Uh, you don't. You're all too young. Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. <laughs> Holy shit. Back in the 60s and 70s. So, anyway, here comes the bard. Here comes the bard. And uh, I appreciate you people so much. If you people weren't watching and you people did not turn that over a million hits, they would fry me in Utah. They don't touch me. It's too many of you. Too many of you. And your uh, viewership protects me. And so now that I got the suit, I'm going to go back to church and see if I can get me a few more 14 year olds. Must be true. Must be true. Anyway, my dentist, when I ask him, Have you read the essays? He says, No. I don't want to know. I said, That's the way Mormons are. That's the way Mormons are. If you hit them with a fact, they're going to turn their back and look the other way and say, I never saw the fact. They're brainwashed. They're in a cult. So, blue tie, BYU, pinstripe suit, businessman. I couldn't get any cross pins. A gold cross, I used to carry uh, two gold cross pins. And they weren't uh, 12 karat, they were 14 karat gold. And one was a marker, one was a pen. I couldn't get that today. I couldn't find it anywhere in Utah. So I'll look back in Kangaroo City. So, black shoes, nice, polished, tailored suit. Did a good job. Extra suit. French shirt. Kick the Mormons in the ass. Kick him in the ass. His bar's gone. <laughs>